Hey guys, it's Rena Jadip here, founder CEO of Health Boot Camps with Dr. Eric Grasser, our brilliant rock star MD, who is also the co-founder with us of the Heal Your Gut Boot Camp. So Dr. Grasser is going to tell us today how we can thrive through the season change as we go from fall to winter and make sure we don't fall sick. All right, Dr. Eric, over to you. What are your top tips to make sure that we all don't fall sick this winter? Well, if you don't want to get sick in the winter, definitely you have to treat your body like a temple and you have to get good sleep and you have to reduce stress, which means not overextending yourself, not running too crazy. From a nutrition standpoint, we're moving from cool and dry into cold and wet when we go from fall to winter. So we want to antidote those properties by eating foods and having a lifestyle that adds warmth and adds and, and sort of dries up the mucus. So possibly avoiding dairy, eating warming foods instead of cold raw foods, drinking lots of warming beverages. And remember that the digestion will actually concentrate in the gut in the winter. Uh, and so you can take advantage of that by actually having better digestion and more metabolism. So timing of your meals and changing your macronutrient ratios from fewer carbs to more fats and proteins. Seems like a very wise strategy. What do we do to boost our immune system as well? So we don't catch everything that our wonderful elementary and middle school kids bring home. So again, you want to sleep well. That's probably number one. And you want to reduce the amount of uh, over stress and overextension that you're doing with your lifestyle. So rest, slowing down, and then of course eating foods again that are warming, liberal in spices, because spices and vegetables and fruits have qualities and compounds in them that support the immune system. You also want to try to reduce the mucus formation, like I mentioned. And then there are certain herbs that you can choose from that will actually have immune boosting properties, everything from uh, elderberry to astragalus to uh, certain mushrooms like lion's mane are excellent for immune system. You know, I'm making this tea and now that you've reminded me, I'm gonna go ahead and put it out. So for those of you listening in or watching and you're looking for a nice immune boosting tea, here's a recipe we're gonna be posting on Health Food Camp's blog. So make sure to check it out. But, but Dr. Grasser, you know what I've been doing is taking chaga mushroom, the entire rock, the whole mm. actual chaga mushroom itself. And in a um, crock pot, um, I've been for like a, two days brewing that with um, cloves, cinnamon, like cinnamon sticks, organic cinnamon sticks, cloves, elderberry, actual elderberry seeds. Um, I toss in some saffron, some rose petals, uh, some green cardamom, black cardamom, and I just let it brew for two days on slow. And um, it comes out very dark, almost like a real tea with intense flavors. And when you add something like a macadamia milk to it, it doesn't curdle. So that's become my new go-to drink, Great. which is in, in, you know, intense in not just flavor, but also it's really intense in its immune boosting capabilities and, and warming um, properties. So, so that's one example. You mentioned some roots. What about foods? What are the foods in this time of the year that can boost our immunity? Well, again, it's good nutrition because when we give our bodies good complex nutrition, we're getting the compounds, the vitamins and the minerals that our body can actually use to enhance our immune system. And seasonally, like I mentioned, you're not going to be as good at digesting raw, drying foods like cold salads. You're going to do better at digesting root vegetables and things that have oil in them and protein in them uh, because they have the qualities that you're trying to antidote because the season is doing one thing to you and then you just fight back with, with an antidote that's opposite that. And that's the basic principle from Ayurveda is to antidote the properties of the season. Sounds wonderful. All right, thank you so much. And for the rest of you, you know what you need to do. And we are gonna be doing a series of interviews 
on Heal My Gut Boot Camp with Bev, where she is actually going through the program right now and she's sharing her experience day by day, exciting stuff. So if you're curious as to how the Heal My Gut Boot Camp works and you want to get your gut back in shape for the holiday season, then I highly, highly recommend you check out that live series that's going on right now. And of course, you can check it all out on healthbootcamps.com. I'll see you soon. Stay smiling.